ああいつか。おお。サイジャック I'm on a plane. By myself. <laughs> What? Not in the area. Oh, damn. But I'll try. Would be this. It's me. Did you see my text? It's me and three other people on this entire I'm plane. I'm shocked that they didn't cancel your flight. I am also shocked when it gets my flight. I was waiting for it to happen. Bossabot, thank you for subscribing. Expecting you, so I didn't have I didn't have you ready. Oh, bone size ready. Yeah. You like that? Is that a reference or something? <coughs> <laughs> of course it is, you fucking moron. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I, I didn't know that, that was are, necessary. Once are hard shoots on. Mason, the former tag team partner, Anthony Turtle. Thank you for subscribing. Former. Happy Monday to you. Do you know something I don't? Stay tuned. <laughs> What do you mean by former? That's uh. Ominous. Ominous. Yeah. <laughs> Ominite. Cold open. No opener. No well, we fun opener. Know, we don't know if uh. Dijak will even. Oh, stay yeah, yeah. So、air. we'll do the opening after he takes off. Yeah, so it's actually, this is a cold opening. This will be like one of those special episodes. Oh, shit. I never listened to this audio message John sent us. Did、what、you did listen、say? to it? I, I just told you I didn't listen to it. So why would you ask me what did he say? <laughs> That's a good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. This this banger better be banging. Only、oh. 128 in four minutes. I'm disappointed. What banger? Uh, one of the influencer wrestling accounts tweeted, "Not a single word was said between Rock and Dwayne, but it absolutely cleared the SmackDown segment." So I posted、um, the WrestleMania 28 John Cena The Rock、uh, video package. That's like voices in, in the air. air. But it's both. It's the Rock versus the Rock, and I said Rock versus <laughs> Dwayne. Versus <laughs> Dwayne. <laughs> so, yeah. Come on, that's gotta be. I mean, this has gotta be. Who's the influencer? I think the in. I think the internet's broken. Uh, the Russell Humble. Stuff is、uh, popping off the way it used to. No. No. I I thought your Shinji. I think I think your joke was too subtle. Which joke? Brendan was referencing a guy jerking off on a comatose woman. Oh. 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 Uh, Steven Segal asks, "Where's Dijak flying to? We don't. We're not going to dox Dijak here." Yeah, we don't want you to find him in the air. What do you think I'm flying to? I'm wrestling in Orlando tomorrow. Whoa, whoa! No need for a dox. No spoilers. No need for a dox. It's literally announced. Oh wait, their name was Seeing Several, not Stephen Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the S's and the L's, and the and the V's. I have this、um, theory about the internet. I'm sure. Austin, I think it's starting、Austin? to collapse. <laughs> the dream is collapsing. Yeah, I think the internet dream is collapsing because、um, I think we're reaching the point where. 
bots are making content, right? And bots are responding so. to content. So they're feeding each other. Yeah, you, it seems that way, doesn't it? If you look on if you look on Facebook, you'll see like a like a picture, an AI generated picture of Jesus made out of sand, right? And no, then, uh, I, Facebook is a fucking like cesspit. It's, it's horrible. It's just bots on bot. It's bots. It's the whole just way bots down. and the AI drawings of like. But so random is shows. so is Twitter now. Uh, less than there. Facebook, but yeah, yeah, less than Facebook. So I think we're gonna reach the point where like bots are going to dictate what trends right and it's just going to become like these weird corruptions of like jesus and um like uh Shut it down. it'll be like yeah <laughs> it'll be like a strange amalgamation of things that people react to and then bots will just react to it and then uh like brainlets will think oh this is what people actually care about so they'll get sucked into the into the cycle. You know what I mean? That's actually the hardest part about Twitter. Now. What? What's happening? Oh, my dogs are barking. That's the hardest part about Twitter right now is that I look at the comments of things and I'm like, God, is this Chat GPT or is this person just really stupid? Like I can't tell. What's the What's the difference? Does it matter? Will you ever meet that person in real life? It kind of does. No, it kind of does matter because I want to know whether somebody, a human being, actually believes what they're saying, or if it's a robot that has taken the amalgamation of whatever database that they Spoda, are using. Or... With Prime. No, but that's oh, the question: God. is if Why you will it... never see or know that person in real life, then are they not just a bot? Dijack thoughts. <laughs> um. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> hmm. 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 Is it? Is this like a? This is kind of like a philosophical. Like, if a tree falls in the wood, it would. It is a philosophical it? question. Um, are they not just bots? If, um, a tweet, if a tweet is made by a person that you will never know, does it make a difference yeah. whether or not they are a bot or a human? If it affects you in the same way. Okay, so to me, yes, because every tweet at me is a potential source of in and not not in like a I'm trying to draw as much money out of human being way, but like everything with human beings sort of like although I guess with bots it kind of does the too, bots right? will like the bot, same way. Yeah. If that's why people like, pay for bot like bot, responses. Yeah, but like a so like a bot's not gonna like buy a piece of merch, right? But neither like, is a person. In a weird round of He's becoming a bot. Because they might because they might like uh you know increase views so much on something that someone makes some sort of determination that like you're more important because you get more the More perception views. is all that matters. It might, it might, it might be happening to me right now. To be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm on a, I'm, I'm becoming popular on like Twitter and, and the internet and stuff, and I think a lot of that is bots. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I think is, a good amount of my ratios girl? are bots. Who is the pussy and bio girl? Because they use the same picture. <laughs> Every single one. It's the same girl. Every single one. And it's not yeah. like. Not to, I don't, I don't know. Like, why, why her and not someone else? You know what I mean? I don't know. Why it's that crazy. specific Russian woman that they found? <laughs> because she's giving Russian. It is giving Russian. If it's not bots, it's dudes in the third world. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Those were the original bots. That's wow. my <laughs> that's my girlfriend. Jesus Christ! What happened, Dijak? What happened on your plane? I don't know what that team. Why has nobody walked by Dijak and said, "You can't be on your phone. Can't be on your phone." Because there's four people on the plane. Please go on airplane mode. Yeah. It's like, come on. We're, it's 2024. We know that doesn't do shit. 
All right. I've known that it doesn't do anything for ages because doesn't do I, a uh, goddamn when thing. I used to go on um when my football team used to well, take a plane. The interesting the interesting part about this plane is that it has Wi Fi on it, as most yeah. planes do. So I can make a legitimate argument that I'm stranded on Wi Fi because I am. But you're not allowed to uh, make voice calls on Wi Fi. Really it says that. that says like you can't you can't do it. Yeah, they said don't make uh, voice or video calls while you're on Wi Fi. We'll see if, uh, yeah, that's if just, it that's just, causes your plane to crash. Just, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We'll find out if that matters tonight. The voice call thing is just so you don't annoy the people around you and there's nobody around you because there's nobody in this plane. Yeah, no, that's true. Some fucking... Su- oh, it's me! Hello! Hi! Wee! Ha 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 ha! Oh, here we go. Time to see Whoa. if it's going to last. Chat, chat, what's going to happen? Chat! Is he going to stay on the call or is he going to lose it? Will he st- he's taking off. We have liftoff. Oh, liftoff. Oh. I repeat, we have well, liftoff. Look at the beautiful city of New Hampshire. We're going to take it to the moon. Oh. It to the stars. How many people we know could take it to spot? The city of New Hampshire, which is Dots. a real city. Do- oh, oh, I think we lost him. him. He's going to be I think gone. that's it. I think it's over. His last <laughs> words <dream>. were doxed. <laughs> the dream is dead. Imagine Rip. a stream on a plane. We'd be like the president. All right, get his ass out of here. All right. Play the OP. That's from the hit movie Dune, which I saw yesterday. Are you Dune pilled, Mansoor? I don't really appreciate uh, them appropriating my culture for their white savior narrative. See, that's the thing, though, but he's a bad guy. <laughs> So didn't aren't they subverting the white savior narrative um like 40 years ago? <laughs> well, here's what I'll say. I think anyone who dislikes Dune, I'm sorry, I think anyone who likes Dune but also dislikes Avatar is a hypocrite. Likes Dune but dis Okay, go on. Yeah, because so many people, I'd like to speak to Demo about this. Because Demo hates Avatar because he says, oh, it's just dances with wolves in space. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. But Dune is just Lawrence of Arabia in space and everybody loves it. So where do we draw the line? Can you rip something off and still it has artistic merit? I think so. I mean, everything is, everything artistic is ripped off. There is nothing original in art. Exactly. I love oh, okay. Kill Bill. What's that ripped off of? Um, I mean, every Quentin Tarantino. Well, every movie Tarantino is, movie is yeah. just a rip off of something. Yeah, but yeah, Kill Bill is an amalgamation of uh, like Lady Snowblood. Um, that's the big one. I like Dune two. I liked it more than one. I like Dune two way more than one, and I like because one. I felt one did not have a satisfying ending. I know it was only part one, but as a movie, I don't feel it had a... Thanks for the bits, Jay. I don't feel it had a satisfying conclusion, whereas I think if you ended 
the entire movie series at two, then I would be fine. Like, I understand. Oh, you're saying it's a complete story. Yeah. Well, that's what I think, because he becomes emperor and the great houses challenge him. And he says, then we will make them fall. Whatever. That could be. Yeah, that could be. a. That, that's open ended enough to be like, you know, and then whatever. they kind of, fought. Exactly. Kind of like, but you don't need to see it because that's not the story that we need to see. The story did you, we need did you to like see. like Elvis doing an impersonation of uh, that that guy? What guy? Um, the uh, well, the Baron. Paragon, Whoa. Creed, thank you for the gift subs. Thanks, Paragon, our close personal friend. How do you, how do you feel life. about Elvis as an actor? Because I feel like he's a contentious actor, and you're uh, you're an acting snob. Um, I have I didn't see his Elvis movie. I don't like biopics, uh, except for Amadeus. And maybe a couple of others. Well, the thing I, I don't with, like the thing with Elvis is his gimmick is that he takes a role, right? And then he makes it his personality. And then he kind of just becomes that role in real life. So the big thing, the reason why I call him Elvis and everybody calls him Elvis is because he did not talk like Elvis until he did the role of Elvis. And now he talks like Elvis all the time. In Dune, he kind of sounds like um he definitely puts on an accent. I think that's supposed to be like a Harkonnen accent. Well, no, he's so Batista doesn't have. He, no, he's specifically doing the voice of the guy who plays the Baron. The actor who plays the Baron, he watched a bunch of stuff for him. Really? And then he's doing the Elvis thing to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of like, oh, and the guy, <laughs> and the guy did not know that he was going to do it, and it kind of shocked him. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh. That to me, that doesn't really make sense because he, he doesn't care that much about his uncle. You know, he was deeply ambitious, but he didn't really care. So, so I, really I believe him, in, yeah. the, uh, in the text, in the, uh, the, the Dune book, the Fade Rotha character is like a, uh, like a femboy, like a beautiful what? femboy. What's this? Could it be? Who's here? Is it? I don't know. We're about Another to find runner. out. He's here, but we can't. Oh, wow. Technology is amazing. Incredible. Hold on. You're 30,000 feet in the air right now. And we can see your, we can see your face. How's kind he of. doing this? Uh, he's frozen. I don't really think this is sustainable. This is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't hear him at all. <laughs> I'm just looking at his darkness enveloped face. <laughs> I could just see the tip of his nose. <laughs> Tip of his nose. <laughs> He's with John Cena. <laughs> um, Get his uh, ass out of here. So I believe the the Fade Rotha character is supposed to have like this kind of uh, vaguely sexual relationship with his uncle. Yeah. And um, so he's like trying to be his uncle's favorite uh, nephew, right? Yeah. So I think maybe in his head, the voice is him. I'm so much like you, Uncle. Like that's what, that's what I. It doesn't think really make sense in the movie, but I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. In the text, in the text, the Baron is a a, a deeply gay pedophile. Yes. <laughs> because um, I think his name is Her Frank. What is his name? Herbert. Hubert. No, his name's Vladimir. No. Well, that that shocked me. That I can't <laughs> believe they said that. And I know in the book his name is Vladimir. But the fact that they said Vladimir, I was like, wow. The Vladimir people, Harkonnen. The people are going to go crazy for that. But um, the author of the book is, is a huge homophobe, just hates gay people quite a bit. Um, from what I understand, his son was gay and he never accepted him. Huh. So uh, I think there's, uh, you know, there's, there's, okay. So I had an argument with somebody where they were upset because Chani in the book, is a fanatical supporter of Paul Muadib, Muadib. and uh, in the movies they make a tremendous change where they make her essentially the only person who uh, conflicts with Paul within the Fremen. Wembley TV, thank you and for subscribing. Thanks, Wembley. Hello, I was cosplaying as Akihiko at a con and had a lot of people asking for photos. Only been cosplaying since the end of lockdown, and it's one of the best things ever. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's awesome. That's very nice. Um. But I had an argument with this guy because he said it's not faithful to the books. Chani supports Paul no matter what. But you can see in the movie, spoiler alert, 
when Paul says he's going to take the princess's hand in marriage, Chani's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then it's it's heavily implied and heavily foreshadowed that Chani is going to be like a major antagonistic force in the next movie, or at least will be the undoing of Paul. Well, as and I, I like understand that. it, Chani is going to still have his baby, right? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, absolutely. She so, will. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of, it's going to become like a, like a weird love tri- triangle, love triangle where they're kind of friends to enemies to lovers again kind yeah. of thing which is very which is great it's great tra- yeah. it's great drama it's great trauma and great drama but there are people who are so book hardline because like before i watched dune the denis villeneuve version i watched the david lynch version which is arguably more faithful to the books even though it has to adapt it in one movie and lynch had the baron just be this like disgusting like like filthy perverted freak but the harkonnen and the denny movie is like they're just so fascinating and like brutalistic i like that a lot more even though it wasn't faithful to the book so it's not like i just i don't feel like they're supposed there are people to be who are, more like the way they are in these in um in the new movies no they're not they're not no in the book they're just perverse decadent people Okay. Because because the author just in these probably new movies just... they feel like a very like industrial like yes. uh yes. like the Baron is like a guy who relies more on technology. like he doesn't even walk anymore. He's clearly right. he, like he needs that thing to even survive when they uh, when the Emperor comes. He's grotesque. Off. Yeah. He's grotesque, but grotesque in a different way because in the book the author argues he's grotesque because of his like sexual deviation. Yeah, which exactly. Is which is not compelling in in any he's... sense. Is he? Could it be? No, wait. He's just gone. <laughs> I, I forgot. K- Katrina, Katrina, you don't know what we're talking about because um, uh, you're illiterate. Okay. <laughs> All right. Read a you, book. You, you, okay. You don't know culture. You were. We thought you were cool. So for people who don't know, Katrina Creed is a wrestler in Canada who uh, drove us from Montreal to Gatineau for Mystery Gatineau. Wrestling. And I will say this, she's the only indie wrestler that we've uh, rode with who had good taste in music, played good That's music in the, on the car ride. But on, it's on. also because she's not uh, 12 years old like everybody else who's been forced to pick us up. No, that's true as well. Um, but this is very disappointing, Katrina, that you don't know Dune. Um, yeah, you, should know Dune. You, should, you should know Dune. You should view Dune. Or don't read the book. Watch the movies. They're very good. Dijak is here in spirit. I can see sort of his essence floating within a black <laughs> void. It's becoming like a running gag of the stream. Nah, uh, no Katrina, books. we're okay, doing we got... what you should start doing if you ever want to get over is uh, live stream yourself playing League of Legends so that you can become huh. a millionaire. Oh my God. Horrible. Just horrible. Chat, uh, imagine a woman playing League. Would you watch? Of course you would. Fuck League. I hate League. I hate all MOBAs. I hate Dota. I hate League. I hate Valorant. I hate Overwatch. I hate Pal World, maybe? But what is Pal? No, I don't hate Pal World. Like those. It's just it's also over. It's it was just a flavor of the week. Okay. Uh, what else am I thinking of? I hate, yeah, Dota, League, Overwatch, Valorant. Yeah, I love TF2. Stop, please. That's not even... I mean, it's it's a cesspit you now. Like you can't play it now. Yeah, I like Helldivers. I didn't know but you were Hell... playing Helldivers with, like, friends that weren't me. Yeah, I play with my friends from high school. We play Helldivers. Mm. We've been playing Helldivers and... Um, well, don't get hot. Are you okay? I'm not hot. I'm just, I'm just, I think I find it interesting that you have friends. Do you not, do you not, pl- oh, Dijak. Dijak. He's here? <laughs> he's he's, he's back. Here. I'm just going to leave. Dijak, turn on, turn on your little light, your reading light. Yeah. Do it. Oh God, his forehead is greasy. What is that? <laughs> what am I looking at right now? Is Helldiver a fully priced game? Uh, No. Like no, 40? 70 bucks? No, 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 no. Uh, it might be 50. Okay. 
It might be 50. We're considering check. doing a uh, Hell Diver stream chat. Would you be? We want to do it with Shane. I think with Shane it'd be really fun. With Shane it would be very fun because he'd be he'd like, just be... oh, oh, what? the bugs. Oh, well, I don't know where we're supposed to go. Oh, the, the fucking prawns. Yeah, it's fucking prawns, mate. Oh, yeah, it's 40 bucks. Yeah, you should get that. Okay, I'll get it. I'm pissed that Dragon's Dogma 2 is $70. It's like, $70, not... and apparently they're really uh, blowing it on, like, the microtrend deck. There he is. Apparently, like, you have to pay real money to fast travel. <laughs> You do, but you also can just unlock it in the game, so it's that's not a big every deal. that's everything with microtransactions. I know, but it's like you don't have to engage. It's just Capcom being predatory. Oh, Dijak! He's hey, Dijak! We can see you, but we can't hear you. There's no chance that his voice will carry from the skies. Right, Fawfold, You used to be able to put in a cheat code, but now you pay for the cheat code. So yeah. that's exactly how I put it. Yeah. Um, speaking of video games, we're going to play one tonight, aren't we, Brennan? Are we? A real game. Yeah, I sent it to you on Discord. Oh, you sent it, oh, you sent it on Discord. Okay. Yeah. yeah Not one of these works. flavor of the month uh, shit slop games that uh, your local Twitch streamer plays just to hop on the brand wag wagon. Wagon. This is a real video game. I'm, I'm stressed. When you, when you said it, I was like, oh, no. This Chad, is a video game. Think of the most feared uh, bosses in video gaming. Who comes to mind? You think of uh, Ornstein and Schmo. You think of um, Elizabeth, who I beat this week. It was very big for me. Garugamesh. Garugamesh. Final Fantasy. Uh, I'll tell you camera. if you get it, chat. But think of the, the, the most difficult bosses in all of gaming. The camera in Dark Souls 2. The, <laughs> the Orphan of Kos. Or Kos, uh, some might say. That handicap steel cage match in, in Day of Reckoning on the GameCube. What a complete bullshit fucking match. Like, the what Undertaker the fuck was that? in streak mode. Not really. That was not that hard. Uh, Mansoor in Saudi mode. Yes, that is really hard. Yep, that's difficult. I'm I'm shocked with the love that we have by somebody within the um, 2K. Within 2K, I'm yeah. shocked that there was never like an Easter egg. That if you like, I, I assume there was a crown jewel stage, right? <laughs> yeah. If you play as Mansoor on the Crown Jewel stage, it just gives you like a, a one thousand overall. <laughs> it just would be based. Stats. Would be extremely based. I'm not seeing it, chat. The switch's fake frame rate. Fat, Fat Joe. Joe. Jam. <laughs> Is he hard? I don't remember that. What's the Def Jam game where you fight Snoop Dogg and his his name is the Crow? Was the that one the where new you can... one where they didn't use their real names? No. Well, maybe. I, I wouldn't call it the new. Newer, it was I mean, PlayStation the newest two. one. Yeah. Uh, you could play as Carmen Electra and um, some other porn star. Fight for New York. porn star that was in a bunch of video games for a minute? Ch um... She was in Saints Row, too. Tara Patrick. Tara Patrick. Tara Patrick. Yep. Shout out. Shout out to one of the OGs. Yep. I haven't seen any of her yep. matches. Is she a uh, well, worker? Yeah. Damn good worker. Old school. <laughs> Old school. And you know what? Back in the day, right? They used to have these um, uh, pay-per-views <laughs> where it was a DVD. You can only get it on DVD. And it was a choose-your-own-adventure oh, show. right? Revolutionary. And using the DVD features... It would be like, do you want to have a match, a normal <laughs> match, or a match in my ass? <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> and she did one of the first, it's called Intera Interactive, right? Because her name is Tara. That's a great name. Great name. So great the, the, the DVD was Interactive. And as no a way kid, she's I like the wanted... Zack Ryder of her time. 
<laughs> yeah. Truly utilizing all different well, well, well. Of the meaning of the medium. All right, they think it's Cuphead. They think it's Cuphead. Which actually, which actually would be based. We should we should actually play more two player games, right? Yeah. Why don't we co op yeah. games? Right. We could play Cuphead someday. Um, I want to play a way out with you. Oh, I almost played that with uh, the prison Charlie game. once. Oh, that would have drawn way more. Yeah. But my computer wasn't strong enough to run it and stream at the time. Oh. It was actually one of the moments that made me realize I needed a new computer. No, we are playing ukulele tonight. My kids love ukulele. Really? They play like, it? Um, yeah, because um, it was on sale on the Nintendo eShop for like 99 cents. Oh, yeah, it's a no-brainer. So I just got it for them all, and they played it. Those, like, Banjo-Kazooie type yeah. games, kids fucking love those, yeah. Did they play A Hat in Time? Um, no. I feel like they would like A Hat in Time. They probably would. They just got the new Princess Peach game. Is that a game? I didn't know. Yeah, Super Princess Peach. It's good. Or it seems oh, good. I didn't play it. I just saw what you're wearing. What's with the deep V-neck, you slut? It's not a deep, it's a button-up. It's a Hawaiian shirt. You're a filthy little slut. Don't talk to me like that in public. You're a dirty little gutter whore. Do we like Germa? No, we're not uh, 12. Yes! Yes! I love Germa. You love Germa? Do you watch Germa? Yeah. Yeah. What else? Uh, Coffee, Cheetos, chicken. Uh, What else do I know about Germa? Uh, Oh, he's short. Uh, (laughs) Oh, he does this (laughs) thing. Um... Well, okay, so like years ago, he's not a, I, he's not a Germa fan. He doesn't watch him. He just knows. Yeah, him. I'm a huge Germa fan. Well, I've never watched any of his streams because I'm not a fucking loser. But I used to <laughs> watch. You go. I used to watch uh, all of his YouTube videos and uh, the compilations of the you know greatest hits from his streams. And I was always a huge fan of him because he was he to me felt like the only streamer who would go out of his way to be creative and try new things. Like he did a, a full like Sims IRL stream where he was a Sim and the chat was controlling him. That's pretty good. Uh, Station X, thank you for the subscription. Uh, he also did a stream where um, he did. Uh, so every year he would do this thing called the Germa Rumble or something, where all the memes from his streams he'd make them and create a wrestler and then have them do a Royal Rumble and like book a pay per view. And one day he did an a, like a real life Germa Rumble where they, everybody like a bunch of people dressed up as these memes and it was all very cool. Yeah, I'm a very big Germa fan. I haven't watched a lot of his more recent stuff, but I was a very very big Germa fan back in the day. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is uh, we don't watch Twitch streamers because we're adults. No, I would never. I would never like if I could sit down and spend two to three hours watching something. It would not be another person just doing what we do <laughs> fuck no fuck no i'd watch a movie or play a video game or something uh no, no offense no offense to our wonderful <laughs> no offense fans to our here. close personal audience <laughs> watching right now <laughs> tf2 era germa yeah with, with star uh yeah that was the shit i was never like a big I, like brennan did you fall like as a kid i liked the angry video game nerd yeah i meant i like mega i like mega 64 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and as far as other like internet celebrities go, I don't think I like Penny Arcade, the comic. I used to read but that. But even like back then it was YouTubers, right? Yes. Uh uh-huh. it wasn't like there's something about a Twitch stream that requires so much I mean, it doesn't require time because what you're what you're doing is you're just um you're just probably doing something else and you have on the Twitch stream in the background, right? Yeah, I loved Red versus Blue. And it was very interesting because somebody told me that the Rooster Teeth, I guess they make a much more popular show called R W B Y. What is Ruby. it called, Brian? Ruby. Yeah, R W B Y. But Rooster Teeth just died. Uh, oh, did they? Yeah. Well, rip. Rest um, in peace. No, Ruby um, was like, a, it, it reminds me of a, of a Code Lyoko. Do you remember Code Lyoko? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I remember it's Code like, Lyoko. Uh, it's it would like come on after wanted, Teen Titans. Yeah, they wanted to. They wanted to make an anime, and uh, but it's not. It's obviously not Japanese. Um, so it kind of has that like American stank on it. <laughs> but like Avatar. it was really just a means to make uh, like really cool fight scenes because the guy who mm-hmm. started it 
made really cool fight scenes. Mm. You know, I watched a bit of Korra at your house. Yeah. And it looks great. It does look like, great. The visuals look great. They have a lot of really cool concepts that they never follow through on. And it's made by the same people, no? As Korra? Yeah. So where do you think they like fell through compared to Avatar? The, How did the Korra longer... not... So, chat, you have to understand, I'm a bit of an Avatar stan, right? I watched Avatar when it was coming out. I was on forums talking about Avatar. Um, I'm very passionate about Avatar. And now I've seen Avatar, The Last Airbender, about like five times through with my kids because they watch it all the time. Um, but the longer uh, Bryke, those are the creators, make new things, the more I begin to believe that they are akin to monkeys with typewriters <laughs> in a room that just managed to produce Shakespeare on the first try and have not been able to do it since. Um, Cora, obviously, if you if you go and, and you look at their production, right? If you look at the production of Cora, from what I understand, they didn't um, they didn't know that they were ever going to have another season every time they made a new season. So a lot of it is rushed. A lot of it is trying to get to these big epic moments within one season, whereas uh, the original Avatar The Last Airbender had the benefit of knowing that it was going to have uh, the number of books that it had. How did how did the sequel to the most popular Nickelodeon series of all time have less of a certain future than the actual show that began it? Like, that doesn't um, make sense to me. At the time, cartoons were not doing... Well, they, it's not that they weren't doing well on kids' TV. It's that they were, that was like around the time where they were like, yeah, let's do Cartoon Network, but real life. And they were doing like uh, YouTube sitcoms. Yeah. They were doing sitcoms. Yeah. Um, Car when Cartoon Network moved to sitcoms, that's when shit. Yeah. That's when it was over. That's when everything changed. I'm not going to so, say I went downhill. I can't speak on that. I was not a child at the time, but it never went back. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Turtles likes the live action adaptation. Brennan, thoughts? Of, uh, Avatar? Yeah. It um, doesn't have any soul to me. <laughs> mm. I saw a little bit of the first episode. I mean, I've seen synopsises. Didn't suck you in? Didn't, didn't suck you suck off? Me in. It didn't suck me off. <laughs> didn't suck you in or off? I, I have a problem what? with... um, I don't have a problem with the idea of a live action ad adaptation. I had the problem with the idea that a live action adaptation of anything that was a cartoon is somehow, um, yeah, I got you, Sierra. I remember. Um, is somehow. Whoa, more... whoa, whoa, hold on a second. What's happening right now? What? What's happening right now? It's uh, I ripped I ripped out Ari's tooth today, which means that it's okay, a, it's a it's a tooth fairy night. You're gonna put money under her pillow? Yeah, that's my that's my job. There's How much does she get? Oh crap! She's she's got requests on the note. It's five dollars. She has requests? What do you mean? Sometimes, sometimes they uh, can you you can hear me right? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes uh, because they, they request to keep their tooth right so that we can. Well, that's uh, not a fair transaction. You can't get paid to keep your tooth. Yeah, it's it's not a really good system that the tooth fairy has. Um. Okay, they want a they want an autograph from the two that that should probably be your job, Sierra, because I'm going to have a male signature, and they're going to assume. Whoa, that the can you really tell? Femoid, yes, you can oh. tell the difference between male handwriting and female handwriting. Okay, I don't know if your kids can, but sure, they, they definitely can. They've said it. They've said as much. Um, so sometimes they'll ask for something else in the pro like sometimes they'll be like oh and visit the fairy garden or something or uh, oh okay i guess <laughs> two fairies <laughs> too stupid to use magic to function with a pencil but okay um yeah so i guess i have special requests hopefully i sierra i assume you didn't uh leave a death trap for me this time I've had like the most Mission Impossible missions in this uh, 
in doing these things that I do. Where like the uh, door will be squeaky. <laughs> There's two cats that are in there. Like it's like a nightmare. Yeah. Every time I go in. Oh, okay, cool. We're cooking. Outside of the room, easy, easy night. Uh Game Break BH, you guys will go down against the my the beast of them all. Jabbar? Oh, Bahrain. Yeah. So, Brennan, talk about how you're going to the Middle East for the first time. I am going to the Middle East for the Next first month. time. Next month. Um, I, I, should I get a... Um, what's the outfit? A thobe. A thobe. A thobe and a, a, a shmog, a kefiyah. Would it, would it be over? Um, yeah, it's more over when a foreigner does it, because then people are like, oh, look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's trying. <laughs> but the... The uh, karate man, he's black. I could pass for the a karate little. man. Oh, the guy that, yeah. Oh, Wembley TV. When are you wrestling in Uganda, Brennan? Thoughts? Mm, it's, Soft it's, ground wrestling? It's not impossible. Someone needs to defeat that dastardly Lord White. <laughs> Anything is possible in the Independent Wrestling Federation. <laughs> we are free agents, we after are free all. Free agents. <laughs> Thobes um, are comfy. My, my are. tweet about them did numbers, so I, I'm just saying that really? it's possible that uh, contacts have been made. I've seen, like, people have been talking about, like, Will Osprey talked about them. MXM versus see. the orphan. Are, aren't they all orphans? <laughs> the orphans? How could we possibly be baby faces? <laughs> the orphans. <laughs> <It's> the orphans. <laughs> I thought that that's what they like. That's what they call their superstars. Is like another orphan who joined <laughs> the cause. They're superstars. <laughs> Soft ground wrestling orphan one man gang. <laughs> or is one man army? So do you know do you the think, roster? Do you think it, do you think they uh, they would lose out if they? Will Osprey do, donated money for them to get a ring. So here's the thing about that. I do feel that if they get a ring, it will lose its soul. I think it's I think called it's, soft ground. You know what that wrestling. is? You know what that is? That's TNA um, getting a four-sided ring. Yep, 100%. 100%. Because if it, if it gets a ring, then it's just another promotion. Yeah. Right? It's called soft ground wrestling. It has to be on soft ground. What are they going to change it to? Uh, uh, vinyl mat wrestling? No. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Also, I really, uh, the I really... soft ground is um, is actually like a cultural callback to the uh, Indian Kushti style, mm, where they also true. wrestle in soft, like broken up dirt. So it's actually kind of like a you don't want to colonize their <laughs> their wrestling. No, well that's what that's what Lord White is trying to do. Lord White is trying to recolonize them. Um. Can, Brennan, can you explain something to me? And I don't know if this is racist to ask you. Okay, yeah, go ahead. What? How are they all jacked? Um, they're all so jacked. Genetics. Like they're all more jacked than like the indie wrestlers we've seen. Like, so I I don't know much. And they're about, not even trained. They're not trained wrestlers. I don't know much about Uganda, right? But I imagine um, diet, and They're I probably assume on a they, very have, clean to, they diet. have to work. Like probably taxing, like physical jobs, right? Mm. As opposed to us, we just sit on our asses and talk on a yeah. computer. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe one or two times a week, we might have to do athletic shit for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> right. Also, no like, American uh, stuff, yeah. like an American that becomes a professional wrestler is probably a nerd. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably you're like right. a little dweeb. It's probably a that loser. Hopefully, yeah. can craft themselves into like a, a something that presents as somebody who could win a fight. I bet you the people who want to become wrestlers in Uganda are the chat. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're hundred percent right. You know how I know this? Because there's women in the audience. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, farmers are jacked. That's true. You just get functional strength. Yeah. 
and if if they farm or if they work on um yeah you're right <clears throat> uh mansoor i have a tier list for you from twitter what oh let me pull it up wow you do it on the stream you have a a window for this yeah watch this hold on there it is bazinga wow holy shit wait a minute before you tell me what this is let me try and guess what this tier list is okay all right first of all uh, is there a way for can i zoom in on your stream because this uh, is very hard here, to see. i'll do this i'll stream i'm just the, i'll stream you the window i wanted to leave it as no sure just from even just these little icons this is a tna tier list right yes of course okay great all right <laughs> <laughs> i can already tell if uh you want us to do your <sighs> tier list um send it to me on twitter and i'll pull it up are you able to drag and drop yeah yeah why was sandow there in soft ground no no in the tna tier list i saw oh. damien's i don't know <laughs> I mean, I know he was in Impact for a second, but I don't think I'd consider him a TNA. Original. Yeah. I... 2012 TNA. Yeah, I was watching then. I was watching then, to be fair. That's like Chris Saban world champion, Bully Ray world champion. Okay, this is a very limited... All right. Um, I can already tell this is going to miss some people. I miss a lot of people, but... Um... It's an interesting selection. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's Nigel McGuinness, right? Is that Desmond Where? Wolf in the middle? Next to Matt Morgan? Is that Desmond Wolf? Uh, Matt Morgan. That's, uh, is that Kazarian? Is, no, that's not Kaz. Is it? That bald guy? I thought that was Desmond Wolf. Is that not Desmond? I'm pretty sure that's Desmond Wolf. I don't know who that is. I can't tell. Are you sure? That's not Kaz. Fuck off. I think it's Kaz. He's not bald. He has black hair. These are, they chose That's weird Kaz? pictures. Yeah, they did choose weird pictures. Like, okay. Like, look at this uh, Angelina Love on, like, the red carpet picture. <laughs> Where? Right, like, down here. There's, like, a picture of her from her Wikipedia. Oh, <laughs> Is that who the fuck is that next to her? Is that Chris Harris or is that Judas Messias? Yeah, it says Wildcat. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so interesting. Um, Kurt Angle in a thong is prime TNA. <laughs> uh, so I guess we gotta start uh, from in. the top. Hold on, let me see if this person's just so. Hold on, let's me... decide what are we what are we rating based on how how much they contributed to tna probably right yeah like not how much we just like them yeah because you can suck and still contribute a lot to tna absolutely <laughs> so so but okay because i don't want to get heat with anybody no you know what this is this is uh an impact tier list how much of an impact do they have on TNA? <laughs> ah, okay. All right. So we're ranking based on how much they contributed to TNA as a culture. That should keep us from getting heat, I think. As Well, because somebody's just going to take a picture of our tier list with our faces next to it and then just send it to, like, Devon. <laughs> because I love Devon. Wait, actually, no. He would be pretty high because Team 3D was there Yeah, for Team a 3D while. was... But, but I was thinking... Holy Ray I was thinking ex higher. Or what about Bobby, right? I wouldn't put Bobby high, but I love Bobby yeah right like i wouldn't put bobby above c but or is this i a, love bobby. or is this a tna guy do you affiliate the but that's objective that's not subjective at all i mean any yeah yeah right like who is a tna guy obviously it's the ones who are right it's not booker t it's not like you know what i mean so i mean is aj styles a tna guy I would say so, yeah. Even though he debuted in WCW, I, I would say he's a TNA guy for sure. Even though he's been in WWE for ages? He's been in WWE longer than he's been in TNA. Crazy, right? Yeah, that's fucked, is it not? It's wrong. <laughs> Fix it's it. It's wrong. Go back to yeah. TNA. 
<laughs> Uncle Alan. No, Allen. kid, I understand, I understand what you're saying. Bobby did something for the company. Yeah, he was world champion. He had a great run. But when I think of TNA, I do not think of Bobby Lashley. I, I don't. Like, yes, 2013, 2014, he was a big part of it. But I just, that's not, that's not the TNA I know, right? Um, Wait, they're, they're arguing whether it was uh, Rude or Lashley that you're talking about when you say Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, you should know this. Don't be, don't be. Bobby Although I did embarrass Rude. myself. Hold on, can we put ourselves over for winning the Quizplex uh, Trivia Championships? Yeah, that's big for us. Last another week, I mean, another we dominated. Orphan, another orphan joins our closet. <laughs> we dominated. And I almost embarrassed myself because the trivia question was, what is the name of Beer Money's finisher? What does um, DWI stand for? Yeah. And I said with complete confidence, Driving drinking while, while investigating. No, I didn't say that. I said drinking while investigating. And I don't know why the fuck I said that. I know it's drinking while investing, but in my mind, I think investigating is the same word as investing. You said it just so within... confidently that you shook because my confidence. I, I... I don't know why, but investing and investigating, what's the difference between investing and investigating? Iga. What did you call me? <laughs> Pardon me? Chat, clip that. Don't clip that. Don't Chat, clip, that. clip that. Don't clip that. Don't clip Whoa, that. Oh, boy. <laughs> I said, I, I, <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Anyway, let's start with uh, Mr. Anderson. Before it. I, I, let's let's start with Mr. Anderson. Oh, don't overreact, Mr. All right. So uh, you think Mr. Anderson, right? Um, Aces and Eights. I I I love I love Ken Kennedy. I, as a kid, I I played as him in all the SmackDown versus Raw story modes. I wanted him to get a push to the moon. In TNA, uh, <laughs> he was world champ, and he feuded with I think Jeff for the world title for a while. What did you think of his? Was, uh, what did you think of his famous catchphrase? Asshole! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an asshole, all right. Asshole. <laughs> um. Do you think he would have uh, made a good Max Dupree? Kennedy? Yeah. I think he would have made as good a Max Dupree as Max Dupree was. <laughs> they're very, they're kind of, he's kind of like the the LA Knight of his time, right? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. Um, he feuded with Sam oh, Shaw. Oh, yeah, he did. Well, you... With our close personal friend, Fr Sam Shaw, where he got over <laughs> creepy bastard. <laughs> what are you doing in my bedroom? Yeah. He's given us some memorable moments. Let's give it, let's put him in C. C? That's the baseline yeah, memorable so. moments is a C. Hey, I mean, he's not a I mean, I love Kennedy. I love Anderson. As Oof, his no. run in his run in TNA, I would give a C. Okay, that's fine. Wait, who the fuck is that? That's not Damian Sandoz's face. That's, that's Elias. <laughs> that's Elias. Who the fuck is that supposed that's to Elias. be? Elias. <laughs> I I'm like staring at this guy. And I feel like it's like that. I don't um, think it's. That, I don't think it's either of them. Who is that? Do, do you know that old picture on the internet of like, have you seen this man in your dreams? I feel like this <laughs> yeah. is that picture. I feel like this is an AI generated human. I don't. <laughs> That's I, not uh, Sandow. I don't know who the fuck is that. Gunner? <laughs> no. Is that, <laughs> is that Ezekiel? Chad, I don't know who, is who that it? is. Chad, who the fuck is that? This person does not exist. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, so that's I thought it was Sando, but it's not. It's not Sando. That's not his face. I I don't know who that is. No, it's not. Um, Ezekiel Elias. <laughs> <laughs> Well, just put him in D. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know who it is. No impact. We'll put him in D just to pad out uh, Jordan Grace. Um, she's, I'm just uh, going to put every... She, well, I'll, she's modern, right? 
I'm I'm just gonna put everybody who is still working in S so that they they they're our friends and That's they might point. like us. <laughs> also, she gave us that great tip about uh, uh, credit cards on iPhones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Big dub. So so yeah, everybody. Suicide. Everybody... Okay, so this Wait, might is be that a suicide or is it tip. havoc? I think that's suicide. Yeah, it says suicide um, on his chest. This is a controversial take. I don't really think suicide should be anywhere above B. That's no, that's fair. You think so? Yeah. I mean, he wasn't even the same person. <laughs> well, that's fine. He's he's emblematic of TNA. He's like, Captain when you think New of Japan. Suicide, he's Captain New. He's Captain fucking New Captain Japan. Captain New Japan. <laughs> but um. As far as what he ever actually did, I think B is fine. Um, whoa, hold on. I'm not arguing that Jordan Grace is not relevant. Who is arguing that? She's absolutely relevant. Wait, She's who excellent. said that? Uh, I'm saying anybody modern, we're going to put an S because they might be our coworkers at some point. So we're not going to bury anybody yeah, that we, we might work with. Uh, Big Pop the politics. Pump. Big Papa Pump's A for me. That's an A for me. Yeah, he gave That's us a little PD pump. Um, yeah. He gave us Signer Math. Yeah. Smojo. I, can't, I couldn't name a single match, but yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, main Event think, Mafia. Wow, well, chat's saying S, but I think that's a little too high. I, I'm, not I a, mean, I'm not against the S. Chat, I could be me, talked into the S. Willie Steiner and S? I don't know. Steiner, that, Steiner Math is legendary. Yeah, I agree, but that's one promo in like a four year run. All right, so you're right? gonna have to give me two okay, promos me, by anybody who put an S. Let me list <laughs> let me list all the things I remember Scott did in TNA. Okay. He brought us little Petey Pump, the math promo. He did the announcement for Team 3D where he said, like, from, <laughs> from Planet Obesity. Grace, from the great state of obesity. <laughs> Weighing in at two tons. Of chocolate glazed donuts, <laughs> which is really good. Um, his his team with Ricker was with LA Knight was really good. Yeah, you know what? He's, uh, he's kind of but, okay, here's the thing. But okay, I can you name one Scott Steiner TNA match? Um, I'm not even asking for a good one. Just name a <laughs> match. Just one Scott Steiner match. <laughs> Chat, help me out. <laughs> Chat, Steiner versus Joe versus Angle. That's a carry job. Come on. And I got a lot of respect for Scott Steiner. Oh, he fuck. was wrestling like a year after heart surgery, too. <laughs> right. I mean, he's he's working with a uh, you know. I'm gonna give him an S. Okay. Sting, obviously, S. Sting, S. Yeah. Didn't easy. have to, but did. Didn't have to, but did, you know? Yep. Could have gone to WWE, got on the easy paycheck, uh, but he was in TNA Also, just decade. probably didn't even need to work at all, because... No. Probably was a millionaire. Probably could have... Uh, those WCW guys something. made so much, especially in yeah. those last years. Yeah. Angle, S, easy. S, easy. No easy. fuck. I mean, S plus. S plus, really. Yeah. <laughs> You're putting it first. Well, hold on, because if we start ranking in order, like we can't touch. We can't that's do that. Not... We can't do that. Um, okay, Jeff Harvey. Here's this is um, this is tough, right? Iconic Cause... moments. I know, but ah, uh, you know, some of the iconic moments weren't. Does it great. matter? Yeah, it kind of does, does, right? It, does it have to be good? Is all publicity I, I, good publicity? I say A. I A's think fine. I think A. Yeah. My where, would put, where would you put to window? the top? Probably like D. <laughs> <laughs> window. Ty boy Osti, thank you for the subscription. Smojo uh, S. That's ah, S. I mean, there's no. There's Joseph gonna be a lot of S's. Joseph? Yeah. Bobby Roo? That's Bobby Roo. Ah, it's A or S for me. It's but gotta be A or S. Ooh. Team Canada. Senior Joe. Beer money. Beer, Beer money. Yeah, he's done so power. much. Yeah, S. 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 
That's us. That's easy. For me. All right. Austin the greatest Healy man. Aries. The greatest man who ever lived, Austin Aries. Uh, this is kind of tough. This is a little tough. Okay. So um, I associate, like, I if I think about Austin Aries, I think of him as a TNA guy, right? Okay, sure. Fine. Or what? A Ring of Honor guy? Ring of Honor. 205. Kinda. All those Ring of Honor guys are just TNA guys. Yes, but I will say that when I think of Alex Shelley, I don't think of Ring of Honor, even though he was on Ring of Honor. I think of TNA. When I think of Chris Saban, I think of TNA, right? But Aries and Joe are like the same class, right? Mm, no. No? Joe, Aries was like a low-card, mid-card guy when Joe was on top. Okay. Aries won his first Ring of Honor, Honor title from Joe, and it was a huge upset. Uh, and I believe that was Joe's farewell to TNA. If I might be thinking wrong, Chad, so he might be me. like the class after kind of. But Aries, he invented option C, right in kayfabe, I guess. Uh -huh. Um, you know, he, he won the world title, which was a big moment. Uh, had a good tag team with Bobby Roo as the dirty heels, the dirty I think, heels? or something. Yeah, I think, yeah. Which, you know, is funny because now that I think about it, I feel like Ziggler was just playing Austin Aries when they yeah. were attacked. <laughs> um, his last match in Impact. Yeah, that was kind of weird, right? Do you, did you ever see that? What was the last match in Impact? He wrestled uh, um, uh, Johnny Nitro, and I'm sure it was a great match. But then as soon as he took John's finish, he just got up and walked away. Oh, like, I do remember happened. that. Yeah. yeah, that yeah was yeah, was yeah. that before he came to WWE? No. I think it was after. I think, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was after. Fed check. Oh, I said Nitro. That's like 2006 Fed check. <laughs> it's not even Morrison. <laughs> uh, <laughs> option C is ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. I like option C. It's cool, right? Mm -hmm. Or do you think it buries the X Division title? It buries the X Division. It kind of killed the X Division title. You think so? X Division title was like, in my opinion, when I first started watching TNA, I thought it was every bit as good as the world or as the um, NWA title. So you would say that by giving people the option to give it up for a world title shot, it cheapens the belt. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that makes especially sense. like post Joe X Division champion, like that belt was strong. That was a that was a well respected belt. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, uh Healy. It's tough because I don't I think he's above suicide, but I think he's below Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean he's he's pretty squarely in A or B. Mm. Chat help. What do you think, chat? Chat doesn't like him, so they're going to try and put him in D. Listen, this is not a judgment on anybody's character, okay? <laughs> this is an objective. People are saying B. B. I can agree with that. Yeah, okay. B's fine. Below D, Ollie! <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we're not... We You can say all you want about Aries as a person. This is just based on his TNA career. <laughs> James Storm. Our, our close personal uh... friend, James Storm. James Storm, yeah. Yes, yeah, right? Yeah, that's got to be an S. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's very there's, 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 there's a lot of S's. There's going to be a lot of S's here. <laughs> it's probably the most S tier list. <laughs> well, it's, like it's Jeff... going to be everybody modern, and then it's going to be everybody from like <laughs> prime, prime era. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Yeah, Double J MMA, that's as Yeah, that's good. Just for that, just for that. Not even for his run as, like, the owner of the company. Uh, Saban, that's Saban. an S. S. <laughs> Saban and Shelly, S. Daniels, that's an S. S. <laughs> oh, my God. Bully Ray. Bully. Oh, man. William Ray. 
Boy, I don't know. This one's tough. Is he an S? I don't. I kind of want to. I kind of want to pretend like he's not there because I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, if I speak, if, I'll if get we, in trouble. If we do anything, it's gonna get back to him. S S Bully Ray S greatest TNA champion of all time. Aces and Aids was awesome. We love Aces and Aids. We love his work with Brooke. Uh, Rob Van Dam. Oh. <laughs> RVD, he was kind of on autopilot, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> but. This says we do, can't do, do this do, because. Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. The whole fucking chat. There's so many people here that we're going to like meet one day. So I feel horrible for this. I don't. I don't. Ah. Uh... This is we're not rating on anything other than I, I know, I but they're not gonna know that when somebody takes a screenshot of this and sends it to somebody, yeah, Chad, all they're gonna it, see is their fault. picture. Your fault. All right, take our pictures off the stream. Take our <laughs> take our videos off the stream. Okay. That way we're not we disavow any deniability. <laughs> yeah, this is anonymous. Oops. Perfect. All right, RVD I'd put in like C. Yeah, for TNA. Yeah. Yeah, and same with Booker. I also affiliate him with like uh, other things much more than TNA. Like yeah. RVD is an ECW guy. Yeah. Uh, Booker. Booker, listen, I love I love Black Snow, but Black Snow I, was great. Like... He come on, we all know why Booker was in theater. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that EY? EY, it's tough because I want to say S, but I also want to say A. He's also current. S, <laughs> Robert Lashley, Bobby? or no, Roberto Lashley. Sorry, I, I can't, I don't know. You're gonna have to decide for me. Uh, I just he, he had a okay run in DNA. To me, I'd say B. I'd say B. Hulk Hogan D. Hogan D. D. Big old D. Big old, old D. D. Right next to uh, big <laughs> whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> big old D for doesn't work for me, brother. Doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> Jay Lethal. Um, Jay, Jay is tough, man, because... Black Machismo, uh, Great X Division. I know. An all-time promo with Flair. Uh, it's at least an A. But he's so Ring of Honor for me now. Like, he's yeah. become Ring of Honor. You know what I mean? Say A. Put A. I'd say A. Ladies and gentlemen ethan carter the third c3 trouble 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 this is uh where's kevin nash on this thing what the fuck yeah no no big sexy uh ec3 probably the the hottest young star that this company had for a long time it's also towards the end of like the the great era, the great yeah. pirate era of uh, yeah, TNA. it's true, yeah. I chat. I feel you're underrating <laughs> EC3 for control your narrative. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you're underrating. He was a he was a pretty big deal. He was a very big, and he was like in TNA. Would you say he's the only TNA made homegrown star? homegrown star? That of of that level, because obviously they had like you know, Crimson. Yeah. So and... well, technically he okay. So he was on NXT for a bit. He was on the reality TV show. But he got kicked. Um, like they they gave up on him immediately. Yeah, they they fired him before any meaningful push. Um. So he didn't come into TNA as like a like a big ex WWE guy. They they really they really took a shot on him. Um, and I was a fan. Uh, say B. Why is Dixie not on this list? Yeah, what the fuck is Dixie? I'll say B. Yeah, yeah. 
I think if they kind of, I think if he came in in like oh nine, I'd give him a, a higher. He probably, rate. yeah, he probably would yeah. have had more to do. But he kind of came in right when they, or like he hit his peak, and then TNA had to switch channels, and it was a whole thing, right? Um, yeah, he got rehired for his TNA run. That's true. Unfortunately, Vince was <laughs> not. God, nobody's told this story, have they? It's not my story to tell. Speaking of uh, being rehired for their TNA run. Wow. So there was a time where Matt Hardy was the Gee hottest Hardy. act in professional wrestling. The like one time 2000... that like, everybody was like a, a Matt guy over a job. Yeah, Matt, Matt was the Michaels. Um, it's tough, right? Because that's such a moment in time. And it was so good that WWE just directly lifted it. Ripped it off. It this was never incredibly happened. Imp- yep, you're right. S. Get his ass in S tier. Yep. Is that uh is that Gail? Gail? S. S, yeah. Knockouts, are you kidding me? Uncle Alan? AJ, S. S. AJ, S. Christian Cage. Ooh. You know me, I'm the biggest Christian fan on yeah, earth. I know you I know you want to give him an S immediately. I I I almost think he's A and not S. I would tend to agree and I appreciate yeah. your restraint. Yeah, cuz cuz you could tell he wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> but he did kind of reinvent himself there. Yeah, no, it was great. It was awesome, but you could tell he was like, I'm ready to go back to WWE at a yeah. certain point. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he was fully in, you know what I mean? Uh, meanwhile, in if this was a if this was an AEW tier list, I'd put Christian in S. Oh, yeah. Right I think now? he's done his best work in, in AEW, for sure. I think so, too. He's the highlight. He's the highlight of the promotion. And this is how you assholes should know. Kazuni, thanks for subscribing. Matt Morgan in MXM is Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan. That's funny. Um, they put Aaron Rex in D. His debut changed the. First of all, that's not Aaron Rex. Aaron like Rex. if you look, <laughs> if you look close enough, that's not Aaron Rex. It's all it's Elias's face on Damian <laughs> Sandow's body. So we didn't know where to put it. <laughs> Um, Flair. Yeah, I don't know, man. Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. Chat, what do you want to talk about? So what do you want to talk about? You know what I want to talk about? How, what little attention span you assholes have, right? Because how many wrestlers in one company will bury another company? Bury another company. Say... Fuck that company. Fuck its business practices. They'll say whatever they want about the company, its fans, and then they go to that company and everybody just forgets. They just forget. Like if you go back and listen to some of the shit that certain guys who have jumped ship say, said about the competition, it's like all is forgiven. Am I getting worked here? Am I getting worked? I don't think so. Because I think you can tell when somebody is saying something they want to say versus something that was written for them. I think for 99.9% of wrestlers, you can tell. You can tell. What do you mean, nah? Money is money. You sound yeah, like you're, you're right. talking about somebody in particular. Ah. <sighs> Rick Flair and TNA, Brennan. What Rick did he do? Flair and TNA. Um, Didn't he wrestle Fortune Mick four. Foley? Oh, for sure. D. <laughs> yeah. No, not D. No, C. 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 Yeah, C. it's not yes. a Hogan. He didn't. Yeah. I don't think he phoned it in. I don't think he phoned it. In. He bled, right? He. He definitely. He I mean, he can't help himself. Where does Consequences Creed rank? S. Easy S. Yeah. For our boy. My favorite Consequences Creed moment is when he wrestled Davari in front of a U.S. veteran 
and just lost clean. <laughs> he came out with a full American flag regalia and just lost clean. No cheating. Where does, <laughs> uh, just... does Pac-Man Jones rank? rank? You got to be S, right? S plus. He's back. He's back. Mr. Pac-Man so, Jones. He's so synonymous with TNA. He had his one and only match there. I mean, that has to be said. Mm-hmm. That has to speak for something. It's got to mean something. Uh, who the fuck is this? Matt Morgan? That's the blueprint. The only man whose sperm was sent to space. I see. <laughs> My close personal uh, move that I stole from, and I think he's like our our mayor or something. Is that Kaz? I think it's Kaz. I'd say A. Yeah. Kong, Kong S. 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 I'm going to write next to Ron, Kale. Ron S. S. Well. Ah, okay. This is okay. This is tricky. This is tricky. It's tricky. We love Ron. We want him an S, but he's been in WWE so long, and he was in so long before. But he's also like he was so um because he was early, like hot TNA. Yeah, first black NWA champion, NWA World's champion in TNA. This was one in TNA. Made history. Right? Yeah. Um, and also, greatest tag team of all time with Pac-Man Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be us. Gotta be us. Who is this? Is this... Uh... Uh, uh, that's Petey. I think that's, that's Petey. Petey. That's Petey. Yeah. I put Petey. I put Petey in A. A? A? Yeah. Devon. Every time I look at Devon, I think of the Turkish cuckold porn that he had on his Twitter. <laughs> this looks like this looks like a picture they used in the article when they said Devon caught Devon. like a Turkish what? cuckold. Turkish cuckold porn. <laughs> Why Turkish? And like it wasn't just one video. It was like 15 videos of Turkish cuckold porn. I was just which trying means to send it to my friend as a joke. He specifically looks up Turkish cuckold port. Why Turkish? Devon cucked you? What do you mean by this? <laughs> Smiley BWR, thanks for subscribing. Not Devon Twitter corn. Is that the, the TikTok for porn? Yeah, that's how they avoid getting uh Unalive. Unalive. Uh whatever. Just put him in Essa. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Who the is fuck is that? Christy Hemi? Is that Christy Hemi? The flaming fire crotch. Uh, what's, what's the move? I don't know. Put her in B. Angelina, Angelina Love. Love. I put an A. Yeah. Wildcat, uh, Wildcat nah. Chris Harris. That's tough, man. Because America's Most Wanted. It's very, very like foundational to TNA. But he peaked. But then after that, did yeah. he not peak too early? I'll be. I'll be. Nick Aldis. Nick Aldis, the SmackDown GM. I I I don't husband even husband of my close personal friend uh, Mickey. That's a little past our time, but he works for WWE and he might be our coworker one day. So, yes. <laughs> shark, shark glass. No fucking question. No fucking question. Taya, Taya. Uh, uh, modern S. Is she modern? Yeah, she works for AW. Oh, oh boy, uh, uh, this is a bit of a. She's working. This is a bit of a minefield. <laughs> uh, on to the next tier list. <laughs> Well, put Sammy at S. He he he, he put Sammy at S. There we go. And put Brian Cage at S. Yeah, there we go. And put t- who the is that LAX? <laughs> Are you for real? Did they put the new LAX but they not the original LAX? LAX? What the fuck? With Conan, I, our close whatever. Put Conan. him at S. All right, we're done. That's it. That's we're it. Done. That's it. <laughs> I like how she is, we, we I like how we don't talk about her, but we did talk about Hogan. Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay. Should we play this game or do you have another chill list you want to do? Um I think there was a uh persona persona waifu tier list that what? We did that months ago. The waifu tier list the persona girl tier list? We did it already. Did we? 
Yes. We stream oh, we can so do it much. again. The only problem with that is, Brennan, these characters are all underage. Oh. So it, we want to be seen talking about this. Well, we'd have to do, we'd have to do like social links. We'd have to rate them on their narrative merits. <sighs> Okay, if you want. It was kind of the thing that the stream was advertised on. All right, go ahead. All right. I'm going to search Persona. What are we? What, what Persona game are we doing? Oh, this is going to be a whole thing. I thought you already had it set up. Because we're not going to go game by game, are we? No. Like, Let's just do Persona 3 because so? it's new. All right. Well, look it up. I got it. There they are. Uh... All right. Okay, we're ranking all the social. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Social links. No, we're, we're, it's not. We're, it's not waifus or anything. This is narrative merit. Shit. Yep, we're good. Uh, uh, okay, I. I guess. D. 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 What do you mean, D? Uh, I was made for you. I was made to protect you. That's not the social D. link. That's not the social link. Don't care. That's not what the social link is. Don't care. You're a toaster. Can't put. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Be gone, bot. Be gone. D. Okay. Oh, Akihiko. give me a fucking break. S really S, dude. Yeah. What's the central conflict of what? What is what is her like? What is it? You have to what teach her how to be a human. That's her social link. Uh, okay. Does she learn? No, she's a yes, robot. Yes, she learns, so and then she a... gets a whole another game about it. She's just cringe, bro. You got what, you, you're she's you're cringe. not you're not we're not rating based on wife appeal. I'm not saying that. I'm just I saying she's boring. You don't want to clank with her, but like she's boring, bro. She's boring. No, you she's need boring. to teach her how to be a person. I you, must. I have to protect you. I have not the social to. Link. It's almost like you didn't play the social link. That's her character when she's first introduced. Did you just tune her out for the rest of the game? Yeah, I did, actually. <laughs> Akihiko. Akihiko. Right. Um, okay, so this is... Uh, he had a social link in um, Portable. I didn't play it, so you'd have to tell me. Um, but he also has a link... Uh, or what is it called? Uh, link Story. Which is like the social links for the boys in this one. Um, I think it's an S. He's got the whole thing with the he's an orphan. He tells you about um, he tells you about his little sister. The whole thing with Shinji's really good. I think he's S. He's got a lot going on. All right. Akinari. Pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty great. And and central to the theme of the game. Yes. So I'd say A. Yeah. And um, which is really good for a non, a real NPC. Um, French how do you guy. Feel, how do you feel about him? So I was playing the uh, reload. And in the reload, and they might have done this in the original game too. But when you complete a social link, you're talking to him on the bench. And then he just uh, fades away into like yeah. sparkles. Uh huh. Well, how does that happen? He's a ghost. You didn't know that? He's not a ghost. He's been dead this whole time. Because his mom comes up to you after the game, after you beat the final b battle, and you have to, you know, reassess all your social links. And his mom's like, he talks so much about you. Oh. Oh, I think the implication is he died before his final social link. Okay, maybe. Right. So right. Maybe he was a the, ghost the, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a ghost. He he dies, and then the last time you see him is he's a ghost. 
Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'd put him uh, actually. I'd put him an S. I put him an S. Yeah. No. I think. I think he's S. I think he's S. And I'd put. I'd put Akihiko maybe an A. Yeah. I mean, it's, he's, it's he's not a... really a social link. Or, or, or we can even judge the main characters just as characters. I'd put him an A. As a character. I like him. He's cool. He doesn't like blow me away. Any other, would you say any other uh, member of the party is better than him? Um. Yeah, Junpei. Ah, okay. People aren't going to like that. Well, Junpei is one of the only characters that has an arc. So yeah, he does, he in does any person, that's okay. In any person, okay, but Akihiko also has an arc. From what because, to what? Uh, well, I, I mean, I guess maybe his character doesn't change a whole lot. But he has to uh, come to terms with Shinji dying. Um, it's pretty based that um, his persona evolution is like a promise to Shinji. And then uh, like Shinji is a part of his new persona. I'd say he has more going on than most of the girls i can agree with you 100 percent on that <laughs> that's for sure well they had to make the girls ciphers you know yeah their, their social links are awful the girls social links are just terrible i'm moving i guess down but let's go i think she's got the best uh out of the social links her and yukari are the best i like yukari yeah I think her and Yukari have actually good social links. I don't think uh, I Makoto's isn't great. I mean, not Makoto. Um, Mitsuru isn't a great no, social link. Horrible. I like her as a character. I don't think it's a great social Me link. Too. I, Me too. I also think they do the arranged marriage like two more times in the series. Yeah. Um, yeah, with... Um, you, 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 uh, what the fuck is her name? Forehead. With, <laughs> no, with bangs and four. Aki, Akihiko? Oh, Yukiko? Yukiko doesn't get married. Yeah, Yukiko. No, yeah, she, she was in an arranged... She just doesn't want to do the uh, the end. Oh, okay. But either way. Uh, French guy, Bebe. 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 What would you say to Bebe? Um, it's okay. I like him. Haru. Haru is what I was thinking of. Haru, I think they do an arranged marriage. Oh, um, that's forehead. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um... Baby, baby, C, C is fine. Yeah, it's a C. I don't. It's, this isn't. I. I don't dislike any of these characters, but he. He's just um, a weed that wants to live in Japan, and then he what? actually, baby, walked so Yukar or uh, Yukiko could run because um. Uh, the, his whole story is about like oh, I need to stay in Japan. I want to. I do not <laughs> want to go back to France. And then like he goes back to France, and he's like, I'm going to stay in France. <laughs> <laughs> the old couple. Uh, why? Why are they two different? Just to troll. Let's put one above the other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think they're S. What? Themes of the story. Themes of the game. All right. Remind me. Um. So their whole thing is they're the old couple. They run the bookstore. Their son died in a car accident. And their son was a teacher at Gekokan High, right? And um, in his memory, because it was uh, tragic that the teacher died, they planted the persimmon tree in the courtyard of the, of the school. And through the course of the, um, of the social link, they decide that they're going to cut down the persimmon tree. And part of the social link is like them trying to get a petition and they don't want to cut down the persimmon tree because they're like, oh, this is all we have left of our son. And in the end, they find out that the, uh, the tree is actually being cut down because they want to build a new wing. And then they were like, well, our son would have wanted them to, uh, more kids to have an opportunity to learn. So we're fine That's with them sweet. cutting it down. That's sweet. Yeah. It was a real. It's a. Good I like story. that a lot. Yeah. Um, All right. Put the old man in S. The, the old, old man is S. A. Yeah, but the old yeah. woman is uh, A. Just, just so everyone thinks we're just misogynists. <laughs> There's only gonna be men in S. 
<laughs> actually, let me actually look at all these women and there might be one in S. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. If, if we're yeah. if we come to the same conclusion. All right. Uh, this is the librarian girl or some no, shit. No, she's the um. The treasurer. Who is this? I don't care. It's pretty brutal because her thing is she needs to learn how to talk to boys. <laughs> and she learns how to talk to boys with you. So it's also one of my problems that I have with Igus, right? Yeah. Because it makes you feel so guilty. Because with Igus specifically, you basically teach her how to love. And if you don't date her, then you're a scumbag. <laughs> I can't like, stand like, that. Let me teach you. Let me teach you how to love. And then she's like, "Oh, I love you." And then you're like, "Yeah, but I already have a girlfriend." Yeah, I like you as a. I like you as a toaster. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Off. So I always like I. I dated Yukari in this one, and um, like when I got to the end of Igus, which I'd never done Igus without marrying Igus, uh, I felt so bad because she was like, "So this is love that I feel for you." I love you. And then I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> why don't you just date all of them? You can date all of them. You can. Well, I don't know if yeah. you can do it in the, in reload. In... I'm sure you can. That That's part of the whole uh, wish fulfillment of the game. Is it not? No. Cause they usually punish you for dating all of them. It's not in three. So I remember not in, in three, three is the only one that they didn't because they th didn't th know that you would well, do it. So they actually do punish you. It's the only game that does punish you with a gameplay mechanic, but doesn't have a cutscene like the other ones do. Oh, okay. So in P3, when you date multiple girls, uh, every time you go out with another girl while you're dating one girl, the other girl's uh, link level goes down a little bit. Oh, okay. So theoretically, you could de-level one of the girls, okay. but nobody really knows or cares. <laughs> yeah, I give uh, Chihiro... Who's this, Fuka? Fuka. Big uh, fat her social D. Link sucks. Yeah, D, her social link D, sucks. D, I like D, Fuka, but her social link is bad. D. Cooking I, I is not a personality. Cook so Cooking. Everybody, uh, thank everybody for putting up with me. Shut up. Cooking Fuka. is not a personality. Wanting to eat is not a person. That's my biggest like. And they do it like every trope. game. There's always somebody. I hate the anime trope of the person who just likes to eat food. It's not funny. It's not like creative. It doesn't make me like you anymore. It just makes me think you're a cliche. Fire Emblem did this too. Pretty much every anime whenever, does this. Whenever there's a game that they need to have a bunch of like social links, essentially, because Fire Emblem's the same way. Actually, a lot of these things, I'm thinking of Fire Emblem things too, because they just do the same tropes because they're like, oh, yeah. we need to flesh out 10 episodes of a interpersonal story. All right. Uh, Emperor is, um, I can't think of his name. He's the, uh, he's in the student council. I don't know. He found you a remember? cigarette in the bathroom or something. Yeah, he really, uh, had an issue. What does he learn? He learns how to not be a cop or something? Like, what's his whole so, arc? So, he learns to, um, so what, what's cool about him is he is so hung up on this cigarette thing and he goes on, like, a full um tear we yeah, like he goes fuka. on a gestapo we like, we yeah. like fuka but her social link sucks um mm -hmm. he goes on a tear over the cigarette in the bathroom and then at some point the uh faculty is like well we think that uh makoto did it yeah you mm -hmm. and he's like no he didn't do it and i'd go to bat for him even if he, like i will i refuse to investigate him even if it gets me like it gets him in trouble which is kind of cool and then at the end he quits the student council to become um, – he, he starts uh, studying to become a teacher because he feels like society is going in a bad direction and that education is the answer. So he's a base character. <laughs> mm -hmm. Social Link uh, kind of gets better towards the end. I give him a B. Sure, I believe you. You right. like Rice? Explain to me what you like about Fuka. Is it just her design? Because her social link sucks. As a person? She's fine. 
No, I think no, I think she's. I mean, she's not super interesting. She's not interesting. I I like her. I think her personality is kind of fun, but it's you know it's like any any shy anime girl. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool that she um makes friends with her bully. <laughs> Like her, like she's got a friend group outside of the friend group, which I think is kind of mm-hmm. cool. Um, yeah, this is um, this is the MMO. Yeah. Are we, are um, we in agreement? I like I say the S. MMO a lot. Yeah. S. Yeah. Okay. Good. Based. Junpei S. Junpei is. Who's this basketball guy? This is or soccer track, guy. Track one track guy. because there's two track guys. Oh, there's basketball two track guys, guys in, and track girl. Bas- basketball guys persona four. Um, I forget what is the the um, blue hair guy. This girl down here is one of the FMC ones. I think she's some. Is she swimming? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Um. Track, yeah, it's not a great, um, it's not a great social link. It's like very, um, it's like every, every episode of the social link is, Hey, you're injured. You shouldn't run. And he's like, yeah, but I'm going to run. And that's like, oh, Oh, I remember. I remember. Yeah. It's like the gist of all of them. And then in the end, he's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get surgery. Um, (laughs) Shades of, uh, WWE. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> honestly not that good of a social link i don't hate him as a character but it's not a great social link wow d a little harsh a little harsh uh, it's, it's not f- good there's, who the fuck is this in. that is um the artist the guy? art club art club i've never seen that guy in my life he um he his dad is a doctor and um he's actually a pretty good artist and he has to make the decision as to whether he wants to pursue art or doctoring. And he wins an award that would give him the opportunity to study art abroad in America. And he turns it down to become a doctor. <laughs> okay. Um, it's also kind of a Yukiko thing. And it must be a cultural thing in Japan where people are like, I don't want to do the thing that everybody expects me to do until I realize that it's the thing I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, he's okay. He's a C. He's like baby. Baby's kids. Who the fuck is this guy? That's uh, the, magician. Oh, this is the first. Yeah. This is the yeah, first social link. That you ever... Right. Right. Um, nah. the myth hunter. I mean, kind of based, I guess. Throw him in B. <laughs> B for based. Yeah. It's I like it because he's delusional, and to get um to get that social link all the way, you have to be delusional with him. So like he's like it's very obvious that he's not dating this teacher, but he is uh-huh. fully he's like I'm dating this teacher. I'm gonna go to her house and we're gonna go on a date, and um. And you have to like incur- you have to egg him on every step of the way. Ken, they don't like Ken because you can date him. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. It's not his fault. He's a fucking victim. Yeah, it's not. Why, that's your why? decision. You don't have to date yeah, him. I don't think that's. Yeah. Oh, they're saying Kenji. Their issue is Kenji. Uh, no, this guy says fuck Ken F. No, they're saying Ken. Ken his name is Kenji. The uh, no, but the, Wembley says fuck Ken. Which one? Ken or Kenji? It says Ken. I don't know what to tell you. Wembley says Ken, and then some other people are saying Kenji. I don't think Ken sucks. I wouldn't. Uh, I never use him because he's a child. He sounds like Jimmy Neutron, he and does also sound like his. Neutron. All his skills are useless against bosses because you can't instant kill bosses. 
So all of his skills are like uh, the light, dark things that instant yeah. kill people. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He has a cool arc. See? You Who's Kenji? Need- Kenji is uh, this guy, the guy who dates. Oh, the milf hunter. Well, how come everybody like everybody? How come everybody hates him? Because he's, I guess, he's a perv. Oh, he's a pervert. Oh, well, then th- that's why our audience is split down the middle. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is Ken's social? He thing? gets Shinji killed. How does he get Shinji killed? Ken. Yeah. Yeah, he gets Shinji killed because he he wants to kill Shinji. Mm. And then wait, why? Uh, why? Because Shinji was there when his mom died. And he thought Shinji killed his mom. So he organizes, remember he organizes the, um, during one of the full moons, he sets it up so that he could go kill Shinji, which is kind of base. And then, um, uh, why did Shinji kill his mom? He didn't. He was just, um, he was just there when she died and he thought it was her. And actually, I think Akihiko and Shinji were both there. And um, I think they just couldn't save her. I think a shadow killed his mom, if I remember correctly, which I just played the game. But um, Shinji feels really bad about it, so he quits. And he starts taking uh, uh, dick suppression pills so that he can't use his persona anymore. (laughs) Base. But then uh, after Ken sets up his attempted assassination of Shinji, Strega shows up, and uh, Revolver Jesus just shoots. He's going to kill them both, and then uh, Shinji takes both bullets like a G. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't... And I like Ken. I like Ken's story, because he's like... Uh, he wants to be an adult, but he's a kid. I don't know, chat. I think, it's, I think he's a B. Koromaru S. Okay. <laughs> sure. He's a dog, don't you? I dog. assumed you'd be uh, on board. You're the one who doesn't like dogs. So. I don't hate dogs. I just don't uh, care about them more than humans on instinct. Yeah, but you don't care about humans at all. So I don't know why right. you pretend like. I, I don't care about any of them. I only care about mine. Uh, <laughs> little girl. Little girl. Uh, it's a cute social link. I like it. What's that about her parents getting divorced? Her parents get divorced. Um, either way, if you're a girl or a boy, somebody will be accused of pedophilia. <laughs> if you're a boy, then the dad will be like, what are you, a pedophile? And then if you're a girl, because the dad just got divorced, you'd be like, so, uh, do you have a boyfriend? Oh my God. (laughs) Um, I like her as a character. I think, I think it's a, it's at least a B, maybe an A. Uh, Mamoru. Track two. Who? He's the other track. His... He's, the, he's the rival uh, rival track boy. What's his arc? His arc is um, he ha- only has a, he's a single parent house. His dad died. So themes of the game, I guess. Um, he's the best track kid in like this in the town, even though he goes to another school, and he becomes kind of like your rival. But because his mom is single, she's also sick. He's got several siblings, and he has to stop doing track so they can go get a job in another town on the other side of the country. Uh-huh. Um, so he has to give up like his dream to help his family. He's better than uh, track one. Sure. Uh, give him a C. Mitsuru, uh, take me to McDonald's <laughs> and arranged marriage. It's not. It's, uh, not a D. it's fine. It's not a D. It's a C, probably. Sure. 
The Monk. Very based. Very based. Very based character. Um, he if uh, as a refresher, you meet him in the club. He's uh drunk. Yeah, he makes you buy a drink for him. <laughs> he makes you buy a drink for him. Yeah. And um, he left his wife and his son. I think because he did bad as his... I forget why he left his wife and his son. Um, but he basically, like, ran away and then took over his family's temple. Made a good living for himself, but decided that he wanted to... They left him. Okay. Um, and, uh, he, yeah, so he becomes a monk and then he hires a PI to get, to find his family and he goes, uh, and he gets them back. Um, he's a piece of trash, but he's pretty based. So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, ah, uh, this fucking guy, the gourmet, he's kind of based. I'm not going to lie. Just because it's, he's like, there's a lot of he has the audacity. And turns. He has the audacity to just be this unlikable fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> and I respect that. It's also partly why um, I, Abihara, is my favorite Persona 4 social like. Because I just, I really, I like interesting bad people. Yeah. Who just make mistake after mistake after mistake. Because it's did such a refresher. I... I did, yeah. It's kind of base. It's kind of a base take. Um. Well, I felt like she was the only, to me, she was the only character who resembled a, a real woman. Yeah. So that's what, that was the allure for me. Uh, everyone else was kind of felt like an automaton, but, uh, which is why I don't like, I guess, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but this guy's interesting. Uh, I remember he was just like a loser at the mall. He joins a cult. Uh, He's he wants a cult. to be a food He's critic, a, which isn't really resolved. He's just in a cult. <laughs> right. He tries he's to like, like uh scam some other kid, which ends up getting like his dad who's in the mob. Like there's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like him. He has there's the a, yeah. There's a lot of angles. I'd put him I'd put him in A. Uh Pharos and uh, I guess uh, I, I don't I mean it's an auto social link. It's like whatever. He's just a kid in pajamas who is like the no, body man of Ryoji. I don't He's know the why they're separate of death or whatever. I don't. Yeah. I, yeah. I never really understood why that was supposed to be a plot twist. Yeah, it was pretty obvious. Um, I, I don't mean, the care. The plot twist was I, that he was in you. But I do like. Oh, but I do like. I really did like that the delivery and the execution of when they said Nix is coming, you can't stop Nix. Yeah. Uh, you can't beat Nix. You just can't. You're going to try and fight Nyx, and you can't. However they did that, I remember when I played this game for the first time, I, I felt the dread yeah. of that. No, because he's he's very adamant. He's very adamant about, like, no, you're not going to, like, you cannot win. Yeah. I and love when games you, and do that. he gives you the cool option. Like, he's like, listen, I right, grew to love you in the time that I was with you. The alternate ending. Yeah. Yeah, I grew to love you in the time that I was with you, and I think that the best thing for you is just to forget about all this, and then you won't see it coming. Effie! Just die. We're rating high schoolers. Thank you, Effie. Do not say that. Do not say that. We're rating Don't. them. You can't say that. You can't say that. What do you mean? It's you true. can't say that. Why would we you lie can't. to Effie? their close personal friend that we're wrestling like, we, this week. We are wrestling Effie this weekend. We're wrestling Effie and Dan the Dad in Indianapolis. In Indiana, where the fuck is Indianapolis? Indiana? Do they really? Do they really call a city in Indianapolis? Wait, Actually, wait. They should name every capital city just a list of whatever the you state think, is. You think the capital of California should be Californiapolis? Yeah, that's sick. That's doesn't very sound, Greek. Doesn't it sound Greek? Yeah, <laughs> it's very Greek. Yeah, yeah. What would the most ridiculous Massachusetts Apolis sounds like shit? Oh. Uh. Texas. New York Apple, New York Apolis. No, it would be York uh, Apolis. It wouldn't York be York Apolis. You wouldn't put New. Rhode Island Apolis. I guess it would just be Rhodes Apolis, which sounds even more Greek. Wow. 
You're on this smoke and mirrors. The Dilfs versus Emic. So, is that what they're called? Hold on they, a second. You can't wait a minute. SB, you can't call yourself a Dilf. You ain't got no kids. I think so. That's what I'm trying to. So I feel like we're getting. But neither does Dan the Dad. We're, so we're, we're appropriated. <laughs> We're we're being appropriated yeah, here because we are being like appropriate. the sexy dads, right? But we're yeah. shoot sexy dads. Exactly. That's fucked up. No staples this time. I've I've oh, was impregnated that... a woman. Not that you have to to have kids. No, that's true. But that's how I became a dad. He's only saying he impregnated a woman because he really wants you to believe it. What do you, it's, it's, how is it not, I mean, it's not believable if you know me, but like. Laser scope, thanks for the subscription. We see the comments on all your, uh, your posts, Brennan. Just because my fan base is gay black men from Atlanta doesn't mean that I'm a gay <laughs> black man from Atlanta. Well, not just, uh, also all of your DMs, let's keep in mind. Yeah. I want, could you actually, can you go in and read some of your DM requests right now? My DM requests, okay. Yeah, I want I want you to read your DM requests. Let's see. On Instagram? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or Twitter, whatever you prefer. Requests. Your profile is amazing. <laughs> okay. Um a lot of women. I haven't looked. Really? They, they, really? Yeah. Okay. And they're like uh, women in the crowd at uh, shows. So they're real. They're yeah. I believe that. We Brennan does get a lot of women come up to him at the merch table. Pussy Instagram and bio. Is mostly women? That yeah, first one I read was a guy. Instagram kind of sucks because most of my message requests are mentioned you in your story. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's let's the see, majority uh, of them. Let's see Twitter. Now I got to look at uh, requests. There's a Japanese guy that says hello every week. He just says hello. Oh, is that Yuto? Yes. He's like a Japanese super fan. No. Oh. So yeah. I should say hello back? Yeah, do it. Okay. Hello. There we go. Um, Here's somebody asking me, are you Boozer? Are you Boozer? Is it true? <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. I got a high smiley face from a gentleman caller. Okay. Just a high smiley face. I'm I like when people I like when people jealous from a uh African American gentleman from uh, Atlanta. All right. That's what I've learned about my not not fully my people. Uh <laughs> but uh my my gay black followers are very uh forward. Somebody sent me a fan art of number 4 and number 3 from Kids Next Door. <laughs> <laughs> They know you didn't make kids next door, right? I wish I did. Try streaming with the mic. Does my mic sound far away? My levels look fine. Damn, you got BTFO yet again. You're you're probably the worst at your mic. Every yeah. every time we go to a show, somebody comes up to us and says, "Hey, Castle Superbeast, sorry about your mic being dog was, shit because it you was suck. one time." <laughs> it was one time and it was really embarrassing because I it was my new mic and what I did was and I'll show you right now. All right. You see how my mic is back my I just turned my mic around and I sound bad now. Okay. Sure. That's what happened. My mic was back. Oh, what a shame. And I just didn't know. What a I shame. didn't know that it wouldn't do it. But now I know. And so now I that's your legacy. Uh that's Pharaohs, legacy. um, let's give them uh I guess Pharaohs and Ryoji. Go, you have three minutes. You have three minutes. Go, go, go. Okay. Shinji, 
Shinji S. Okay. Uh, how to oh, get up? Hold on. How to get up? We only have we we have uh, three minutes, but do you think uh, Shinji surviving because of the social link is uh, no? Bad? That sucks. Bad. Bad. Sucks. Bad. Don't want it. Um, they do it with in uh, reload. They do it with um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the girl, the goth girl. She could survive in three too. She can. Yeah, I believe so. Chat, pro, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you can I save. I thought that was uh, new. I believe you can save Junpei's girlfriend in three. She can. She'll just be in the you hospital. You can save her in this one if you do Junpei's link episode and you give him flowers. Uh, uh, I where do you where do you give um, um, Tanaka? I love Tanaka. I don't know. Yeah, he's fine. Like what his social link isn't crazy, but I love Tanaka as a character. You can save. Could you always save Chidori in Persona Three? Like I believe so. Infest? Yuko. Yep. You go S S S S S S S just because she's why 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 is she what is her social link mentor S S S what is her social link don't care S S S S S um Dorkun S Dorkun S yeah pedophile D. <laughs> They're gonna be so mad. Don't know who um, the fuck these two are. I uh, I barely remember them. I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Take your screenshot. Sa- save or download. Yeah, they're furious. FMC. Yeah, listen. We denounce pedophilia. Yeah. A hot take. <laughs> really going out on a limb here. Uh, yeah. You uh, you leave Ken alone. You leave Ken alone. Yeah. Let's go with the, <laughs> the main here. All right. Are we calling it a stream, or you want to play uh, the game? Okay. No, that's gonna take hours. Save it for next time. Yeah. Okay. Next time. Next yeah. time, the hardest boss in the history of video gaming. Uh, see you later. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the raid, oh. Effie. Um, who should we stream? Or oh, raid? We should, uh, should we raid? Let's see. Gulak. Ah, uh, yes. Drew Gulak. The savior of our days. Tell him MXM sent ya. <laughs>